Salutations, cadets. I am your Commander Pika. This is for Season of Plunder's Week 10 Reset on October 25th, 2022. This weekend will bring double rank points in Trials of Osiris, so hop on in when it goes live to rank up Saint-14 and earn those juicy packages. Try to nab a god rolled Reed's Regret and Aisha's Embrace before they leave the loot pool at the end of the season. For the Vanguard playlist, the weekly burn is Ark. The Nightfall is a free-to-play strike that is disgraced with Ark Burn. Face off against the Spooky Witch Navoda and try your hand at earning the Malicious Birthright Kinetic Grenade Launcher. In the Crucible node, the weekly rotating playlist is Team Scorched, a silly game mode to blow off some steam. And the rotating endgame pinnacles will be the Vow of the Disciple Raid and Pit of Heresy Dungeon. Now is the perfect time to farm the final boss of Pit of Heresy to easily earn those high stat armor pieces, and try your hand at Vow's Master Difficulty and Challenges. Finally, Dares of Eternity is in Loot Rotation 2 so it's the perfect time to farm those Ikelos weapons, main ingredient, and night watch. Spooky times are still upon us. It is week two of Festival of the Lost, so get your trick-or-treat bags, put on a mask, and dive into the Haunted Lost sectors for that juicy loot. If you need a guide to the event and some tips, click the link in the description. Hotfix 6.2.5.1 went live at reset today. Mainly some bugs and tweaks, like lowering the difficulty of the Shaper 2 seasonal challenge and the one of many Festival Triumph. The full article will be linked in the description. With the new week, some new vendor loot. Banshee is offering a pretty good Persis D with Perpetual Motion and Explosive Payload, and a Snorri FR5 with Surplus and Reservoir Burst is not too shabby. At State 14's starting loot table, his Whistler win with Moving Target and Gutshot Straight is pretty good. And for all you new hunters out there, Ada 1 has a solid pair of gauntlets and a chest piece. And for today only, make sure to grab Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger and Elemental Shards from her. Lastly, let's see what cool loot is in the Eververse store. There's a new festival mask featuring the spider and a spiffy ornament for Parasite. All items you can see on screen now. Make sure to consider those new mech ornaments. If you really want them, start farming for that bright dust. With that, have at the spooky and fun festivities. Be on the lookout for my disgraced GM Nightfall guide tomorrow, featuring more free-to-play tactics and a breakdown of the strike. So what are your plans for the week? Grinding out Festival of the Lost? I'm going to focus on finishing that up and work on those seasonal triumphs. And thank you so very much for the love on the Fallen Saber Guide. I hope it helped you out. Definitely more to come. Besides the GM Guide, I have a plain simplified list of weapons and tips to start raiding, filled up with easy, powerful builds all free-to-play players can get. Subscribe and ring the bell so you can catch them when they go live. And if you want to meet other nice and helpful people, then head on over to our clan and Discord, Sundog Gaming. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.